Good morning, and welcome to Roman of the Empire. I'm your host, Roman. Today, we are hiking up to the South Fortuna Summit. It's, uh, well, it's still dark. This is about a six mile hike. It takes about two hours. There's a lot of up. Uh, most of it is fine for the novice hiker until you get to the steps of the South Fortuna Summit, and that's a bit more challenging. Um, unless you have really good upward mobility, probably not a fantastic idea. But anyway, not a lot to see right now. We'll check back in. When, uh, we get something to see. So if the San Diego River were flowing, it would be right here. Uh, sometimes, probably in the spring, you'll see this area actually underwater, that pole there. It'll be probably about midway up, so not super deep, but it does make for a a difficult crossing experience. There's a way around over one of the old dams that uh, makes it a little bit easier. Um, the water is not so deep and you can you can navigate it very easily without soaking your shoes. You have to watch for slipping of course but that's just part of the, part of the fun. Okay. The camera doesn't look like much, but this hill goes on for quite a while. It's the first big hill on the hike, and you're very happy when it's done. It treads on for, you know, maybe half a mile or so. It's, uh, it's quite a bit. So we will be doing this. Not particularly interesting to look at. But just as a note, it's one of the first things you're going to encounter, and uh, it's a it's a calorie burner. Still on the big hill, that big knobby bugger in the distance there is where we're going to be heading. That is South Fortuna, and still going up the hill. So, we've cleared the big hill, and we're going to be making a right up here and head down the South Fortuna Saddle Trail, which is not terribly far once you make the turn. So, our next fork in the road making a right at the, uh, it's just a map of the park over there. But once you get down the little hill we just went down, make a right and heading directly for South Fortuna. And we stay on the trail here for obviously the South Fortuna Trail. Over here, a little roundabout, there's a like, seating area for if you want to bring a lunch or some damn thing on one of these sites, although I don't know why anyone would want to do that. Perhaps if you have children. And this is like the uh, Camp Silver Lake murder part of the hike. It doesn't last too long where you're just embedded in the, in the wooded area. You pop out on the other side of this and you're going up a hill. So here we are, make a right onto the South Fortune Trail. Back along the fence line, some cacti, and then the South Fortune. So for 
a ways. It just looks like this. Not super interesting. Pretty enough. But we'll start hitting hills in not too long, and then we'll hit the steps going up. And that's where it gets fun. So, moved past the uh, largely uneventful hills, and we are rapidly approaching the steps up Fortuna. That's Kwaipe over there. And then off in the distance is Cowles Mountain, which we've climbed many times. Here we are at the steps, and they go all the way up there. There are 300 and some odd of them. I have to appreciate the folks who did that work a long time ago. So this is the uh, more challenging part of the hike. A lot of up, a lot of knees and thighs here. We are near the top of the steps. So you see the trail we were on way down there. And uh, been a good, good hike up here. Very solid. And here we are. There's a couple different ways you can go here. If you go to the left, you can go see the little sign. I don't prefer that. I prefer going right because there's a cool view. And here we are. That's Mission Gorge, Father Huniper, Sierra Road down below, Quiet Pie, and then Cowles. And further in distance, it's Mount San Miguel. But it's a beautiful hike. The way down looks just like this, except in the opposite direction. So I'm going to leave you here on top at the South Fortuna Summit. I am a Roman of the Empire, signing off. Peace.